they are super busy here at Ben and Jen. Now, in case you're wondering, because I was too, what a ranunculus is, it's actually a type of flower. I'm going to have my photographer panned out. These are the flowers. They're called ranunculus, and this is where uh, the shop got its name. But I want to turn your attention over to Leah O'Hearn. She's the owner of this shop. Leah, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. So we were just saying there's been some panic because some people are afraid of not being able to get flowers because of the supply chain shortage. But what's your reassuring message for them? Yeah, so I want to remind people that there are flowers available, but sometimes it's not exactly what you're looking for. So you just have to be flexible. So if you're going to your local flower shop, they're going to have a beautiful selection. You just might have to be open to a substitute or two. And we were just talking about, you know, most people, it's easy for them to order those flowers online with those bigger companies because they could do it in the middle of the night if they have to. But you do want to encourage people to come to smaller shops like yours. Absolutely. Shopping at a local flower shop, walking into a shop that is a mom and pop shop is going to be huge to you. You're going to look like a hero when you send flowers. Instead of trying to save five minutes and doing it online, you're going to, your result is going to be huge when you actually when the recipient gets the flowers and how busy has it been for you I've seen everyone running around <laughs> with flowers it is um, it was hard to navigate it this year because it being on a Sunday before the Monday after Super Bowl we were really concerned on how to navigate through it it has been insane one of the best numbers we've seen in years okay last question I have for you I have mm -hmm. to ask what's your most popular flower for Valentine's Day um I'd probably say hydrangeas. Okay. Yeah, they're, I'd say most. Request by males. Yeah, by, yes, <laughs> because I think put in by female asking, you know. Um, mixed bouquets are always the best way to go. Some roses in with other flowers, with ranunculus, hydrangeas, snapdragons. Mix it up a little bit, you know. It's right. kind of nice to have a variety. Yeah. Variety is good. All right, Leah, I'll let you get back to your flower Thank make. You. I know it's a busy day for you. Thank you, Thank Leah. You. All right, like Leah was telling us, if you want to get your flowers just in time for Valentine's Day, your best bet is to call ahead tomorrow so you make sure you get those in time for your significant others. I'm live in Marlboro, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.